Okay, just when I thought all of these dirt bag Zenith TVs from the 90s had gone to the dump where they rightfully should be, here comes one my direction that somebody actually wants repaired. This is a 27 inch Zenith from 1999, December of 99 to be exact. And the only good thing I can say about this set is it uses the better quality Thompson slash RCA bonded yoke CRT. For those who don't know, uh, Zenith televisions made between approximately 1993 and 1998 or early 99 have some of the worst CRTs in history. A lot of them failed under warranty, and the ones that didn't fail under warranty usually died shortly thereafter. And the symptoms were usually a weak CRT, which produced a lousy color picture, and or a CRT that would intermittently arc or short. And when the latter happened, it usually took out the voltage regulator and some other components in the power supply. The CRTs rarely ever checked shorted on a CRT tester, so you're liable to fix the power supply in a week or a month later or a day later or an hour later. The CRT would arc and blow up the new parts. It finally got to the point I just stopped taking in Zenus with that series of bad picture tubes in them. When I saw one of those, I just advised the owner just to buy them a new TV. And I probably should do that with this set, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. The owner complained that it had audio but no video, and whenever I fired it up, I determined that to be the case for the exception of the on-screen menu, which was okay. However, I turned up the G2 control on the flyback transformer, and now I have a very faint, washed-out black-and-white picture. I'll turn that on and demonstrate it for you now. Hold the camera sideways. Three more consonants, one more vowel. T. What? Now I suspect what's wrong with this set is a bad jungle IC. That's the IC that basically contains 85% uh, of the television circuitry on one chip. And I seem to remember those going bad back whenever I was working on more of these. And usually the result is that the color becomes non-controllable or the contrast or a combination of both. Sometimes you'll lose audio. Okay, P-V-C-O. Okay, we're on the color setting now. Yeah, and we'll see what those letters are up there. And I'm going up and down through its range, and you can see nothing is happening. Brightness. Okay, brightness is working. He's a builder, not a cook. Okay, now we're at contrast. <laughs> exactly. Well, we have to look in here for the... For the and you can see I'm um, well, it's, it's oh, okay. running it up and down its range with absolutely no control whatsoever. I suspect the problem is the jungle I see, and I'm going to go out on a limb and just go ahead and change that if I can find one. And here's the jungle I see right here. It actually, like I said, has most of the TV circuitry on one chip. And this is our microprocessor I see. That's the computer brain of the TV, so to speak. That could possibly be bad and not be sending the correct control voltages to the jungle I see, but I'm looking more at the jungle I see being bad than anything else. In fact, I had a junker chassis around here, but it'll be just my luck. That's the chassis that I threw away a while back. But let me go look real quick and make sure if I can fix this thing with used parts, then I'll go for it. But 
I don't imagine the owner is gonna wanna gonna wanna. That sounds like the the what was that the commercial with Bob Vila on it. We're gonna wanna fix that. But anyway, I don't imagine the owners will want to spring for new parts for this set. And frankly, it's not worth it in my opinion. What do you know? I didn't throw away the junk chassis that I had, and it looks basically the same as what we have here. So I'm going to take a chance and pull this IC and hope it's good and hope that's actually the problem. Because if I can fix this set with used parts, maybe I can make a few dollars off of the repair. But these sets are not stellar TVs. They're certainly not your old Zenith tube set from the 60s or your Chroma Color 2 from the 70s. This is rather inferior to the what the old Zeniths were. And judging by the solder on this IC, I can tell that it's actually been replaced before. There was a there was a sticker on the back of the set where it was worked on in 2009, so that's actually probably what was replaced in it. But I think it probably needs to be replaced again. And the way we'll remove this is by use of this desoldering braid. You just place the copper desoldering braid over the terminal you wish to unsolder and then place your hot soldering iron tip on top of the braid and the braid will just soak up the molten solder. You want to be very careful when doing that is not to damage any of the foil, foil pads on the circuit board which seeing as how this has already been soldered on before it could be the, the circuit board traces could be very easily damaged. Okay, I'll quit talking and let, let's get started on this and see if we can fix it. And here's the old IC removed from the chassis, a 56 pin chip. Now we'll remove the IC from the donor chassis. And here we are ready to insert the new IC. I removed a good bit of the old flux with just good old rubbing alcohol. I didn't, I didn't attack it too aggressively because I didn't want to run the risk of damaging any of the pads. So now we will carefully insert the donor IC, solder it in, and see what happens. Okay, there it is. Hopefully I didn't make any boo-boos. Okay, let's plug everything back up and see if we have success or failure. Okay, here's the smoke test. Well, high voltage came up. Making small talk with our friends in our living room. Well, 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 there it is. We have color now. Not right now. Because the second we heard Larry's doing the whole baby. Didn't want you to feel it. Let's run the contrast up. That's good. Real good. What are the origins? Tell you what, let's go down to picture preset. Me and this jackass all Set it to factory. And, uh, Preset, there we go. Alright, well, I'm going to say this television's fixed. You ladies, nice! Isn't that grim? May it rest in peace because I'm about to kill it. <laughs> okay, here we are, all put back together and ready to go back to the owner. Maybe he can get a few more years' use out of this. On high. Yeah, and the whole problem was caused by this integrated circuit right here. Most likely fried due to a little power surge or lightning strike somewhere. Okay, there you go. Repair of a 1999 27-inch Zenith television. Thanks for watching, and more to come later.